Hello everyone, welcome to DigiSub videos and DigiSub YouTube channel. Today we are looking at a controller subject, not a DJ controller, but a very very powerful controller. It's the Loop Deck Live S. So the Loop Deck Brown um, has made several controllers. It's not for the purely for the DJing, but it's really really good. You will see on a DJ use, but you can have the Loop Deck CT, the Loop Deck Live, le, 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 the Loop Deck Live S, and the Loop Deck Plus, uh, Control Plus or Plus. There are controllers for several software like Final Cut Pro, like uh, Adobe uh, Premiere or Adobe Lightroom, or uh, for example, um, Ableton Live, or Audacity, etc. Et you have a lot of um, di direct uh, own made, um, map made mapping, mapping made for several um, software. You see, you have Final Cut, Nuke, Logic Pro, Tower, Notion, Ableton Live, Primary Pro, etc. Et DaVinci, etc. But you can also make your own a mapping if we can say like that with your own icons and you can have some keyboard shortcuts some midi short uh, midi control a lot very lot of things you can control everything on the unit the uh, tactile page here the rotary knob you have push here on each rotary knob you can have uh, some uh, push button here and what, why I'm talking about this unit, the Loop Deck, and not the Stream Deck? It's because the Stream Deck, on the uh, button, you have little physical latency. You know, here, you have to push on it, and you have a direct message, a direct order to your computer. With the Loop Deck, you have a little pressure thing, you know, and you can't for a DJ use, I mean. For a live stream, it's not a, a problem. I have in my work if uh, you want to start a live stream to end a live stream open a software etc it's not a problem with a stream deck but you can uh, make some odd cues or loop directly like that with the strength as uh, a dj you know a dj use but with this uh, loop deck it's very easy and uh, you have no latency on the export part it's because um, it's why i'm talking about this because in export mode on record box it's the, th the main theme, you know. In uh, Recordbox, you have j only the possibility to have the shortcut. But I really don't like shortcuts. And uh, I like to have shortcuts, yeah, like uh, Control C, Control V, etc. But to make odd cues on the, um, on the, sh on the keyboard of your, um, of your computer, I really don't like it like it and with this device it's really amazing it's really cool to make your own playlist or cues a loop directly on the loop deck um, for me the loop deck live s so let's make a profile with two kind of functions one with keyboard shortcut one with midi control um, so we have to make a new uh, profile so you see, I have export profile and performance profile. We will see at the end of the video. So let's make a new profile. Let's make review, for example. And we are going to, let's check it and erase this uh, default. I'm going to um, do a keyboard shortcut. So let's put keyboard shortcut. Oh, just before, let's see what uh, is for uh, maybe a, a four beat loop. So four bit loop, it's W. So let's make W here, loop four, or four bit loop, whatever. W, enter. I have this, and I have this kind of function, but there is no logo, you know, on it. So um, it's not good for me. I have to m put a little icon. So I have my icon here. It's pretty cool. My own icon made on Photoshop, for example, on Pixel Matter. I don't like Photoshop because it's a subscription, you know. With Pixel Matter on Mac, I don't know if it's in Windows, but on Mac you have to pay just four, um, 40, uh, 40 euros and you have your app and you don't have to make some subs subscription. And I think it's the the main powerful software like, um, like Photoshop. So I said what I said. 
uh, four bit loop and let's make a MIDI control but I don't have MIDI I have to open it like that and MIDI control here so let's put an action of course I have a lot of other actions so I will put you will see another note for my MIDI control uh, you have a lot of MIDI control CC set toggle etc so let's not uh, not play okay uh, MIDI I will put slip mode because I don't have slip mode for now on uh, record box and let's put G8 velocity 1 uh, length one minute is gone and put it here and I hope um, YouTube will not strike my video with a little you know it's sleep mode and in French sleep it's like that yo okay it's more funny in French than in English but yeah sleep is that in French um, okay so I have my First, my um, keyboard shortcut and first MIDI control. Let's go to record box, the export mode. Like I say, zero latency. So I have directly my uh, my function. So let's disengage A. Let's play. And when I'm go when I'm good, four bit loop. And I have my four bit loop. Let's put another time, another time, another time. And I can record it if I want. So my shortcut is okay, working very fine. So now let's put performance mode. And let's see the MIDI control. So I have this track on the left. Let's play it. And let's put some MIDI control. So I choose loop deck, deck, had. I will put this here because I have MIDI control here. I don't want to disturb that. Sleep mode, learn, push. And now see here, sleep mode. If I put a odd Q here, let's put here one odd Q without count ties. Okay, sleep mode. It's okay, disengage. Everything is fine. So we are on performance mode. Let's see what we have with the all MIDI mapping. I have done, so return to uh, stream, uh, not stream deck, <laughs> loop deck. Manage profile, performance. I have this for the deck A and this for the deck B. The same thing, but A and B. Let's see what we have. On record box just for deck A. I can move my um, little oh I'm here Le, okay I don't have my MIDI control sorry so import of course I adjust the sleep mode no loop deck it's live so you see if you don't engage your own um, MIDI map you, you will not have it so okay here yeah here it's okay so i have quantize i'm not quantize if i want to put an odd cue or not you see odd cue with quantize i have one bit quantize if i want to choose a track i have just to push here up down i push a and it's okay return to my track push a i have my 16 bit uh, jump 32 and if i want to make maybe a loop and after I want to uh, to recall it, let's make a loop here. And I have my loop. 
I manage everything on export, so I didn't put any loop or whatever here. I put it on the export mode. So let's see export mode. And when it's OK, let's see export mode here and you will see everything I've done for ex export mode. And you will see that it's pretty cool to do this on this loop deck and not on your uh, uh, keyboard. So here I have my play pause. OK, I have my 8 bit loop, 16 bit loop, 32 bit loop. I can set my hot cue if I want. OK. Oh, yes, I was on a loop. Sorry. So I can erase them and make another another loop. I can make a B jump, but this time it's not uh, 8 or 16, etc. It is this bit jump here on the left. But it's B jump, no problem. Um, I have my in and my out. I can put quantize and put in. And call it directly on a loop, for example. Etc, etc. And erase everybody at the end. So it was the Loop Deck Live S um, about everything about keyboard, shortcut, or MIDI control, everything about the controller, but it's not really a DJ controller, but it's very, very cool to use it on an export mode for a record box or just a DJ use. To finish with, if you want to use it as a controller, um, an additional controller, uh, if you like it, uh, with the icon, etc., you can set the rotation like that for example and you can put it between your turntable and your mixer or whatever and you can still control everything and i think it's really really cool to have that uh the this kind of uh of rotation if you need to have a vertical controller and you know that there is not too much vertical controller very cool for uh, all set so if you need any information about the Loop Deck Live S or everything else about this kind of product, about Loop Deck, feel free to ask under the video in the comment section. I hope you liked this video. Thank you for watching this one and see you next content. Bye bye.